Year 2021. Three friends in a small town in Russia notice a strange man, follow them on the streets, or even peeking in their apartment window. And later, just one small mistake led to horrific consequences. In this video, I will tell you about the guy murder case. Hi friends, you are watching the Dronis channel. The guy murder case happened recently in Russia, and the case was closed few days before I record this video. As always, if you will find it interesting, please leave a like at the end, and let's begin. Everything started in a small town Guy in the Orenburg region of Russia, when three friends decided to move there to study. It was 17-year-old Aigiz Umetkulova, 18-year-old Adilia Karimova, and 19-year-old Zulfiya Sanikina. Even though Guy is a rather economically undeveloped and depressive small town in Russia, there is a medical college there, and the girls decided to study there. Their parents helped them to rent an apartment in the building where mostly older people lived. So, there was nothing to be worried about. Small, quiet town, and the girls who were mostly studying and rarely partied. The college professors considered girls to be hardworking and diligent, so seemingly everything was going great. But soon, after they moved to Guy, something weird started happening. They lived on the first floor of an apartment building, and they had steel bars installed on their windows, even though the neighborhood was considered to be safe and quiet. But apparently they started noticing a man that was stopping near the window and he was peeking inside the room. This happened a few times, and at some point, this strange man even approached the girls on the street, trying to start a small talk with them. But obviously, Aigiz, Adila, and Zulfia didn't really want to talk to this man. But even after he approached them on the street, this man was often seen by girls, and it was too often to be a coincidence, even in such a small town as Guy. Also at the time, the town was filled with rumors that a murderer who recently was released from prison is now roaming the city. We know all of this because girls were calling their mothers and telling about this suspicious man. And all of them were sure that the man they saw peeking through their window was the ex-convict everyone were talking about. Because all of that was happening, they became much more careful and were checking their door before going to sleep. At some point, they not only started seeing this weird man in their window or on the streets, but they started hearing loud sounds from their kitchen. It sounded like someone was pulling steel bar that covered the window. And it mostly happened during nighttime. It seemed like this person possibly tried to check if it was possible to tear the window bar down, but the girls were too afraid to go and check what was making that noise. And shortly after all of this started happening, on the evening of 29th of September 2021, Aigis, Adila and Zulfia decided to take a break from studying and bought alcohol and cigarettes. Some people insist that they were also visited by guests that night, but it can't be proven. Around midnight, one of the girls made a video call to her boyfriend, Ilnar. And Ilnar, while being on the call, saw the girls' room. And only three of them were there. Everyone were in the good mood. And it was pretty obvious that all of them were drinking. Then one of the girls that was messaging her friend told in one of the messages that they heard a loud noise coming from their kitchen. After it, Aigis, Adila and Zulfia went to check what was happening there. But they saw no one. But the window was open. Because all three of them were actively messaging their friends, who also know that, apparently, they even started hearing loud noises from behind their apartment door. In some messages, they even were describing that they were hearing someone scratching the door from the outside. But when they went and checked, there was no one. Shortly after it, all three of them went to sleep. And maybe because girls didn't drink too often, they fell asleep fast. And, apparently, by a horrific accident, they forgot to close the door of their apartment. When all of them were sleeping, someone entered their apartment. This was the man they were seeing peeking through the window. Now he had a knife. When this man entered the apartment, he woke Aigis, Adila and Zulfia up, 
Then he told them to put a blanket on the floor and lay on it face down. Right after it, this man started assaulting them one after another. Probably victims were too afraid to scream, and maybe they thought that if they subdue, they wouldn't be killed. But soon the attacker started stabbing them. Aegis, already wounded, was able to run away from the apartment. Fighting for her life, she was able to get to the street. Apparently, she was too weak to scream, because none of the neighbors saw or heard something during that night. And the attacker ran right after her and caught her on the street, where he stabbed Aegis a few more times. Then he ran back to the apartment and made sure that Adila and Zulfia are not breathing. So, he just set the apartment on fire and left the crime scene. Soon, because of the fire, locals called the firefighters. When they got to the building, at first, they noticed Aegis's body with multiple stab wounds. When they extinguished the fire in the apartment, firefighters found the bodies of Zulfia and Adila. All of them were naked and had multiple stab wounds on the chest, neck and stomach. People in such a small town as Guy were astounded by the triple murder. The case was so unusual that best detectives in the region arrived at the crime scene. Working there was so much harder not only because of the fire, but because the firefighters sprayed everything with water while extinguishing it. The forensic experts were working on the crime scene for more than 24 hours. Among other evidence, a murder weapon and the killer's DNA were gathered. Because in the apartment, police found not only bottles of alcohol, but cigarette butts. And it also seemed like it were too many of them. So it was possible that someone the girls knew was a guest at their house that night. And maybe this person was the murderer. The boyfriend of one of the girls, Ilnar, and his brother Anvar, who was also a friend of the girls, were arrested. Because the officers were sure that they have been at the victim's apartment on the night of the murder, and they were most probably the killers. But both brothers had a solid alibi, and also a DNA evidence refuted their guilt. Detectives were thoroughly searching the crime scene and found out that, on the night of the attack, someone tried to tear down the kitchen window of the victim's apartment. The bolts that were holding the window were also pulled out. But apparently, the attacker wasn't able to take the steel bars off the window. And maybe then he decided to go and pull a door handle. And by a horrific accident, the girls forgot to close the door. Detectives started questioning neighbors and friends of the victims. Everyone knew them as hard-working students and quiet neighbors. On the night of the attack, no one heard fighting or any other noise coming from their apartment. Some people, because of what was done, thought that the attacker entered the apartment through the window and just left through the door. But crime scene experts insisted that the bar that was covering window wasn't taken down. So the only plausible theory was that the girls just forgot to close the door. Investigators started searching nearby areas trying to find evidence that the attacker might have left. Soon they found some clothes near a water tower, located not too far from the crime scene. It was obvious that someone just fully undressed there. The clothes was covered with bloodstains. And what was more surprising, investigators were able to locate pretty distinct footprints that were leading to the nearest house. 29-year-old Alexander Lazarev lived in that house with his wife and two kids. Detectives soon found out that, in 2012, he was jailed for the murder of the bar manager in another region of Russia. While in jail, Lazarev got married, and he and his wife had two kids. And this man was released from prison a few months before the attack happened. But Lazarev was already gone when police officers came to question him in his apartment. They found out that, because he lived not too far from the girl's apartment, he sometimes passed by that building. And on the next day after the murder, he arrived at the car wash where he worked. But shortly after it, he asked his boss to let him go home earlier. His colleagues also said that that day was the first time when Lazarev wore different clothes. Not his work uniform, but some other casual clothes. 
Now, detectives had his full crime record. And they found out that not only he was jailed for the murder in 2012, but he was also jailed for different crimes. And he spent most of his life in prison since early childhood. 3rd of October, Alexander, while going to his friend's home in city Orsk, where he planned to hide from police, saw a car that was left opened on the side of the road. And he also noticed that the keys were still in the ignition lock. And he was just kind of person that couldn't pass by. Lazarev stole the car, and while on the road, someone used a car signal and Lazarev hesitated, and because of it, he have gotten into a minor car accident. Not too far from the place where the accident happened, there was a road police patrol. And when they saw a man running away from the car crash scene, they recognized Alexander, as he was already a suspect in a triple murder case in Guy. He was arrested right there on the road. While being arrested, Lazarev pretended that he was in the state of catalytic shock. He even was sent to the hospital for a day because of how good he was at pretending. On the interrogations, he was acting very slick, constantly changing his story to the point of when confronted with DNA evidence, he started claiming that victims had sex with him consensually, but there was too much evidence against him, and the possibility of being sentenced to life in prison was too scary for him, so he decided to confess to triple murder. So, as the investigation established, Lazarev just saw his victims through the window, and maybe he was even stalking them for some time. Most likely, he was the man girls were talking about to their parents. Soon, Alexander Lazarev was taken to the crime scene, where he was calmly talking about what he did. He even confessed to assaulting another woman in Guy, a few weeks before the murders happened. On the interrogations, Alexander was also telling about his childhood, his mother that didn't take care of him, and also about the fact that, after the death of his grandmother, he was basically left alone. He also said that it was good that he was caught, because he was getting scared of his thoughts. And when he realized that his confession wouldn't help, and he still might be sentenced to life in prison, Lazarev started simulating mental illness. But he was sent to Moscow and evaluated. Psychiatrists recognized him as sane and fitting for trial. 15th of March, 2023, Alexander Lazarev was sentenced to life in prison. Friends, thank you so much for watching again. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and maybe check out other videos on the channel. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.